More than two weeks after political protests began in Cairo's Liberation Square, crowds continued to arrive. Located adjacent to the square, Cairo's Egyptian Museum is at the epicenter of the action. During one chaotic early day of the demonstrations in late January, looters entered the museum and damaged priceless antiquities. But restoration work got underway quickly on the objects damaged. Most of them are uh, good and good shape and a uh, little bit need uh, restoration, about 25 uh, pieces. Museum director Tarek al Awadi shows objects that were in a case that was damaged. Many are fine, but a few are in need of restoration. Our conservators. This is not uh, damaged, it was dismantled, as you see. Here we have a part broken. One case was damaged in the collection of King Tut. The thieves found only wooden statues and discarded them. The famous golden mask was safely under lock and key. From one glass window, the uh, thief made his way inside the museum. But because it was completely dark, he couldn't see any of the museum collection. So that's why we have uh, minor damage happened uh, to the collections. But we have all the masterpieces of the Egyptian museum, all the collections, almost, safe. Dr. Turek says the intruder was eventually apprehended near the statue of Sekhmet, the goddess of protection. Officials are downplaying the incident, and they're quick to show that most of the museum remains unharmed, protected by the Egyptian army. Museums all over Egypt are safe. Saqqara, the Valley of the Kings, all the synagogues, all the Coptic monastery, the Egyptian, the Muslim uh, the, the Islamic monuments and Pharaonic and Greek Roman are completely safe. If Cairo Museum and the pyramids are safe, Egypt will be safe.